Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important problem from three-dimensional geometry related to uh, finding out the equation of a line, right? So here uh, we are going to discuss uh, this problem in which we have to find the equation of the lines uh, passing through the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 and perpendicular to uh, these two given lines, right? So here uh, we have to find the equation uh, of a line which passes through uh, this point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 and the line is perpendicular to these two lines whose equations are x minus 1 over 1 is equal to y minus 2 over minus 2 uh, equal to z minus 3 over 3 and x over minus 2 is equal to y over minus 1 is equal to z over 5. Right. So let us start. So here uh, what we will do, uh, see here we are given two uh, lines. So let us denote these two lines by L1 and L2. So L1 is x minus 1 over 1, y minus 2 over minus 2 and z minus 3 over 3. And L2 is x over minus 2, y over minus 1 and z over 5 right now see uh, we know that the equation of a line in standard form is given by x minus x1 over a y minus y1 over b and z minus z1 over c so this is the equation of a line uh, say l which passes through uh, some point say a x1 y1 and z1 right and this line has the direction ratios uh, a b and c or in other words we can say that uh, this line l is parallel to some vector uh, that is uh, a i cap plus b j cap plus uh, c k cap right so this line is parallel to some vector the components of the vector are a b c which are also known as the direction ratios of this given line l so now if we compare the equation of this line uh, with this one then we can easily see that uh, the line l1 passes through uh, 1 comma uh, 2 comma 3 and the direction ratios of this line L1 are given by a 1, minus 2 and 3, right? So the direction ratios are 1, minus 2 and 3. And the line L2, it passes through the origin because see here we have x uh, only, y only and z only, right? So we can also write this equation as x minus 0 over minus 2, y minus 0 over minus 1, z minus 0 over 5, right? So this line, uh, it passes through the origin, the coordinates are 0, 0, 0 and the direction ratios uh, of this line are given by minus 2, minus 1 and 5, right? So this is a brief uh, uh, description of uh, uh, these two lines L1 and L2. So now we have to find the equation of a line which passes through at uh, this point. So here if we take x1, y1, z1 as the point uh, 1 comma minus 1 and this line uh, is perpendicular to these two lines, right? So the equation of a line which passes through 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 uh, is uh, uh, given by, let us call this line by L. So we have x minus 1 over A and then y minus here we have y1 as minus 1, so this becomes plus 1, so here we have b, and then z minus 1 over c, right? So this is our line uh, whose equation is to be uh, determined, right? So here, uh, now we need to find out the direction ratios of uh, this line L, which are a, b, and uh, c, right? Now the second condition uh, which is given to us is that this line L is uh, perpendicular to L1 and L is also perpendicular to this line L2, 
now from uh, vector algebra we know that if two vectors are perpendicular then their dot product is zero right the scalar product is zero so the direction ratios of uh, the line l are given by uh, a b c and here we have the direction ratios of l1 as 1 minus 2 and 3 right so these two lines are perpendicular similarly this line l is also perpendicular to l2 so the direction ratios are given by minus 2 minus 1 5 so a b c is also perpendicular to here minus 2 minus 1 and 5 right so now if two uh, vectors are perpendicular then their dot product is zero so here the dot product of these two vectors uh, is equal to zero so we can write it as a b c dot here we have one minus two three is equal to zero and uh, from here we have a b c dot uh, here we have minus two minus one five and this is equal to zero right okay so now uh, taking the dot product of these two vectors uh, we can multiply the corresponding uh, x y and z components and then we can add them so we have a times one is a then b times minus two b is minus two b and c times three is three c so this is equal to zero so this is equation number one then we have a times minus 2 is minus 2a, b times minus 1 is minus b, and then c times 5 is 5c, right? So now we have uh, formed uh, two equations in a, b, and c. And uh, our aim is to uh, solve these two equations and uh, get the value of a, b, and c. So now to solve these two equations, uh, what we usually do, uh, we uh, make use of the method of cross multiplication, right? So here uh, we are not going to use the method of cross multiplication, rather we'll uh, make use of the method of uh, elimination. So let us multiply equation 1 by 2 so that uh, we have 2a, then we have 4b, then we have 6c is equal to 0 and uh, I will keep this uh, equation number 2 as such. So we have minus 2a, then we have minus b and then we have here 5c is equal to 0, right? So now we can easily uh, add these two equations so that we can get rid of this uh, variable a. So these two get cancelled. So we are left with minus 5b. And here we have 6 plus 5, 11c is equal to 0, right? So now we can write 11c is equal to 5b. Uh, uh, we can take this term uh, to the right hand side. So we have 11c is equal to 5b, right? Now here uh, we have an important step, right? Now we can uh, uh, rewrite this equation as uh, uh, c over 5 is equal to b over 11 right so now uh, we have b over 11 is equal to c over 5 right okay now we can here introduce a real number or a scalar uh, say lambda and uh, remember lambda is not equal to 0 and lambda belongs to the set of real numbers so b over 11 is equal to c over 11 uh, these two ratios are equal uh, to the um, variable or the scalar lambda. So now we can express B and C in terms of lambda, right? So the prime objective of writing uh, this equation like this is to uh, uh, represent the variables B and C in terms of lambda. So we have b over 11 is equal to lambda, c over 5 is equal to uh, lambda. So b is 11 lambda and c is equal to 5 lambda. So once we have expressed b and c in terms of lambda, 
um, now we need to express uh, this variable a in terms of lambda so we'll substitute the value of b and c in either of these two equations so we'll uh, here select equation number one so we have a minus two times 11 b then we have three times five lambda is equal to zero so we have a minus 22 lambda plus 15 lambda is equal to zero so a is equal to uh, a is uh, a minus uh, 7 lambda is equal to 0 so a is equal to 7 lambda right so now we have a is equal to 7 lambda so viewers uh, uh, we have obtained a b c in terms of lambda where lambda is not equal to 0 so let us substitute uh, these uh, values of a b c in this equation right which is our required line uh, which passes through a uh, 1 minus 1 1 and perpendicular to these two lines right so the required line is now given by x minus 1 over uh, 7 lambda then we have y plus 1 over uh, 11 lambda then we have uh, z minus 1 over uh, 5 lambda right so this is the uh, required equation of the line which passes through this point and perpendicular to these two lines right now see here uh, we have this uh, scalar lambda right so what we will do uh, we can get rid of this lambda by multiplying throughout by lambda so we can now have x minus 1 over 7 uh, y plus 1 over uh, 11 then we have z minus 1 over 5 right so this is our required uh, equation right so here uh, we have removed lambda or uh, we can uh, say that uh, assigning different values to this scalar lambda uh, we can have a set of parallel lines right so here uh, we can take uh, lambda is equal to 1 uh, which is the simplest uh, value so we have x minus 1 over 7 is equal to y plus 1 over 11 is equal to z minus 1 over 5 right so this is the cartesian equation of the line so we are so here it is important to mention that uh, if we wish to uh, express this equation in a vector form uh, then we know that the vector equation of a line is given by uh, r is a vector r is equal to vector a plus uh, say uh, t times uh, vector b right so this is the vector equation of a line where t uh, represents some uh, scalar so here uh, this vector a is given by uh, this point that is uh, the point uh, through which the line passes so here we have 1 minus 1 1 and this vector b is given by uh, the direction ratios that is 7 11 and 5 right so here we have 7 11 and 5 so we can write this equation uh, this equation in vector form as vector r uh, is equal to vector a vector a can be written as 1i minus 1j then we have 1k and then plus t and here uh, the vector b so this is 7 i cap plus 11 uh, j cap plus 5 k cap right so this is the uh, vector equation of uh, the given line